Welcome, my name is Brian Carter. I'm here with a wonderful client of mine, Miss Valerie Wyatt. And Valerie, the reason that I brought you here is uh, I wanted to thank you uh, for the opportunity to uh, serve you, uh, to give back to you all the service that you've given our nation. 42 years serving in either active army or as a reservist, and then in conjunction with that doing uh, civilian work uh, through the federal government and I just applaud you and thank you um, and so it was an honor for me to be able to help you uh, but I specifically want to talk to you today to go through the struggles that you had applying for Social Security Disability uh, and then for you to tell us a little bit about what Michaels and Booth did to help you successfully get your benefits and that's it's always nice when we have a feel good happy ending yeah. and it's an ending that you truly deserve so uh, tell everybody a little bit about what you were going through that caused you to come see us in the first place and then uh, what the system was like for you well to, for starters um, when i submitted my package for my disability retirement um, because of my illness you had to go down to social security and get a form saying that you couldn't get it because you was currently working so they told me after i finished working to reapply and that because of what my um, illness was that I wouldn't have no problem. So when I first got it, this person, I don't even know who they was, contacted me and asked me as my job as a civilian, what did it all entail and me being a supervisor and all this other stuff. So I told him and then he came back and said, well, I see no problem with you working. You can still work. I was like, but the medication is the problem that's holding me up because you're not supposed to operate a motor vehicle. Mm -hmm. So that was my problem. But I still went to work every day as a supervisor of, um, what, 15 contractors and stuff, and then the government and guys, but it was just frustrating. And then when I got the second rejection, and I'm like, all this money I put into Social Security all these years from working for the federal government and the military, and now you're gonna dis disapprove my thing? And you have people out there that doesn't have illnesses or serious issues and they get approved just like that. So it was frustrating. So when I called you, um, I just said I was tired. I didn't want to go through it no more. I wanted right. to give up. And then when you contacted me and said, hold on, stay in there. Um, we're going to work through this. Mm -hmm. And that was my confidence that made me continue. How long was it from the time that you initially applied until you finally had your hearing or were awarded your benefits? It was six months. Okay. And you actually get special privilege, so to speak, because <laughs> of the service that you have. Yeah. There's a lot of people that have to wait 18 months or two years, and it can be a long wait. But even six months is long, long when time. you're when you're out of work, you have no paycheck, and you're struggling day to day. Right? And then when you rush all of a sudden, because usually it takes six months for medical retirement, mm -hmm. but I didn't have to wait six months because it was like four months I was out the door. Right. I was so afraid because I didn't know what I was going to do, but it, it did. It, it panned out, but the part that got me the most was when um, they said, well, you know what? We ain't gonna worry about this. We're not gonna do it. So that's when I went to you and asked you for your help. And my understanding, uh, especially with a lot of um, inactive military, is that there's a hesitancy to apply for Social Security disability because of some of the stigmas associated with that whole system. Was that something that made you hesitate to even apply? It did. Because of the fact what we go through and what service members go through in general it you suffer a lot of things that other people don't realize you're going right. through and with all that depression and anxiety and ptsd stuff it does it it makes you afraid because like i when i first came to you um i was at home i control my environment because with the depression and anxiety it made me scared and then since i did get diagnosed i it was like i was afraid i was afraid to go to sleep at night I was just scared. Well, and I think that's one of the, the hardest parts about disability is that when you look at somebody on the surface, you can't always understand what they're mentally or physically struggling yeah. with. Yeah. And even though they appear to be okay. Yeah, on the uh, outside. It, it, it keeps yeah. them from being able to work and they're suffering a lot. Yeah, well, it does, it really does. But I appreciate everything you and your staff and Michaels and Booth did for me. Mm -hmm. And I'm just happy I can sit back and at least 
go to my appointments and not have to worry about the financial part of it anymore. Well, I tell you, again, you're the reason that I do this. Uh, people like you, it really gave, gives me a lot of joy, it gave me a lot of joy to be able to help you, and I appreciated that opportunity. So I thank you very much. Um, I encourage all of you, there's so many stories and people like Valerie that you can watch and listen to. Go to our website, www.forthevictims.com to hear about other stories similar to hers. But we thank you and look forward to talking to you soon.